Okay, I'm here with Mr. Chris McCaskill. He's one of the guys behind uh, Smug Mug, and you guys have some interesting news. We do. That yeah. um, by the time you hear this or, or see this, you will um, you'll probably have seen it already. If, and if not, head over to SmugMug.com, and you can see some of the changes that they've made. What I want to do is we've done a video walkthrough with Nick, mm -hmm. um, who's one of the guys here that helped put this stuff together. But I want to talk to you kind of about behind the scenes mm -hmm. and why you put it together, how you put it together. I understand, and I'm a little bit angry about the fact that it's been going on for three years mm -hmm. and I didn't, <laughs> didn't know about it, yeah. which is good. It's a testament to, your, to the secrecy, the Apple level secrecy. <laughs> but uh, tell me about it. What, why? It, it, a lot of people say, oh, Smug Mug just retooled it overnight and reskinned the site. It's not yeah. a reskin from what I've seen. It's a little not bit deeper. So it, tell, take, yeah. me, take me into it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really a complete rewrite. And uh, so what happened was people were looking for us to refresh and modernize. Most photo sharing companies, when they come out with their photo sharing site, think of all of them, Flickr, Photobucket, and, and all yeah. of those. They look fresh and new when they first come out. But then mm -hmm. over the years, they tend to get a little long in the tooth. And yeah. the same thing you know, was happening with us, too. And so what they typically do is try to reskin it, but yeah. you, there's a, just only so much you can do with reskinning. Yeah. And Smug Mug's been around 11 years. It's hard to imagine. That's crazy, I mean, 11, 11 years. years. Yeah. When you have a co code base that's 10 years, been around 10 years, so we did reskin it. We posted photos to our forum. People mm -hmm. loved the new look, uh, but then they immediately piled in with all the things they would like to do, and it's like, uh, you're not going to be able to do that, that on, yeah. on an architecture that's yeah. 10 years old. So, we, so I'm, I'm driving, I'm driving a, a 1990 car and they're yeah. asking for hybrid technology. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Exactly. So we took a really big swallow and said, you know, how long would it take to do a complete rewrite? And we said a year. So let's do it. And we missed it by a year. So when, <laughs> you, say, when you say complete <clears throat> rewrite, I'm still trying to get my brain around that. So complete rewrite. Does that mean like when you first started Smug Mug 11 years ago, you guys were sitting there looking at a blank screen with a flashing cursor, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Is the rewrite that again, where you went back and you said, you know what, we're going we're gonna to take what we know from these 11 years, but we're going to start with a blank screen and a flashing cursor again? Um, <clears throat> not quite. We, our, our site has various different components. There's a back end where how our database works mm -hmm. and where the data is stored and so on. And we had been changing that over time to use a different database and we and have our servers at Amazon so they could scale and be re really reliable and all that. Yeah. So we reworked a lot of the back end before. In fact, about six months ago, we went live with an all Amazon back end. We don't have servers in our own data centers anymore. Right. Yeah. And we talked about it in that one interview. Yeah. yeah. So, so um, but the front end is a combination of JavaScript and PHP and Flash, mm -hmm. uh, Flash for the slideshow mm -hmm. and an uploader and so on. And Flash, uh, Steve Jobs, when he came out with the iPad, kind of uh, he started numbered. putting nails in the coffin. He did, flash, yeah. yeah. And uh, so to be able to be responsive to iPads and everything else, we could tell Flash wasn't really in our future much. Uh, and JavaScript is just getting so much more powerful. There's so much more you can do with it. Mm -hmm. So we stripped out a lot of the PHP code and just really the front end, we did start from a blank cursor. Not, you know, we had already rebuilt the back end, so we had that support. But the front end, it's all new code. It's all new code. Okay, so so... What does that give me? So when, when you say all new code, is it faster? Is it, does it just look better? Like what, what were you going for when you said, okay, let's rewrite this? What, what were the problems that you, you said we have to solve? Uh, well, there were a lot of them, but one of them, is the, the, the key thing is we wanted it to look beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and modern. Yeah. And modern and fresh. And be responsive to all devices. So mm -hmm. you see it on a big monitor, your photos are huge. You see it on a tablet, it does the right thing. Regardless of the orientation, you see it on any smartphone, it just does the right thing. It has to reform and everything else. Which people expect these days, right? They do I mean, expect they it. They expect that. That's kind yeah. of because people are in this, this or when I say people, I mean me, right? So I'm in this mindset of apps. Yeah. So I look at an app, I turn it, of course it's going to yeah. rotate for me. Yeah. So Smug Mug does that now. Yeah, too. it does. Um, but uh, that was a hard thing to pull off. Um, and just, you know, things like the beauty, the speed, the security. Uh, security has changed a lot over the years. Yeah. Um, things like, as you saw, when... So one of the biggest problems that we had to solve is people want a beautiful site. They mm -hmm. want a unique site. But customization is hard. It always has been hard. Right. Um, you got to get into CSS and JavaScript, or uh, HTML and yeah. JavaScript and so on. Yeah. And we wanted to make it so you could just drag and drop onto the page. Mm -hmm. And it did the right thing. So you grab a block of photos, you grab galleries and so on and move them onto the page and move them anywhere and size yeah. them and edit them and all that kind of stuff. 
we just could not do that with our old architecture. Photographers, I got to tell you, um, and I talk to a lot of photographers, as, as I know you do too, are going to love that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just to be able, because yeah. I want to be, my ideal flow for an application like this is to be able to get my laptop, sit on my couch, mm -hmm. which I call my docking station, mm -hmm. you know, to sit on my docking station yeah. in front of the TV, yeah. put on a, a bad Netflix movie and yeah. work on stuff yeah. and be yeah. done. I don't want to get into, okay, I got to figure out how to do this. Let me go to lynda.com and take a tutorial yeah. on CSS uh, so I can move this photo two pixels yeah. to the right. So now yeah. I don't have to do that? Don't have to do it. And we expect, I think you saw in the demo that we've got a bunch of built-in designs. It's a lot easier for us to get designs. One of the key things of feedback we've heard is, <gasps> I got a photo that just went viral. It's a photo of lightning striking the Bay Bridge and I need to sell it. I yeah. need to get it online tonight. Um, yeah. And I just want to pick a design and go, just give me a design and I'll figure out how to tailor it later. Well now, you get online, before you even give us your email address, you have, I don't know, 21 designs to pick from. Yeah. And you could just pick one and go and start uploading and you're golden. So that so. onboarding process is now, I used to call it when I was at, um, um, you know, other tech companies. Yeah. They used to call it the onboarding. <laughs> good, tech companies. good tech companies. Yeah, the onboarding process. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. from when you first capture a customer mm -hmm. all the way through to okay, they have an account and they're yours. Yeah. So that has gone. You streamline that. And yeah. It's easier now. That's the new user experience. Okay. And uh, the guys who did the the homepage that we were showing you, mm -hmm. the marketing pages redesign. Uh, they were all guys, the team of guys that we hired after the price increase, <laughs> after the price <laughs> increase went well. And they did a whole new user experience thing. And one of the insights they or Don or someone had is, you know what? The strongest thing about it is these designs are beautiful. They're mm -hmm. stunning. Just let them pick a design. Even if they're not registered, we don't know who they are. Look through the designs. And then if they like them, then they can take a trial. That's cool. And so that was a nice part of that the is new, really new user cool. experience. Okay, so has, has pricing changed at all with the no. new look? It's all no. the same? All the same. Yeah. Okay, okay. So then, um, last thing I want to know about, video. Yeah. So there's, you know, you know, mm -hmm. even now I'm shooting this yeah. on video. Sure. So we're doing more, photographers are doing more mm -hmm. and more video yeah. these days because it's easier, mm -hmm. it looks great, and yeah. it's, the tools are there to edit it. Um, what about video and sharing it online? Right now it's YouTube and Vimeo, that kind of yeah. thing. Smug Mug has always been there yeah. since I can remember with Unlo Unlimited. How has yeah. any of that changed? Uh, you know, the funny thing is video is not uh, what caused us a lot of problems with storage and yeah. compute costs. Compute, it's fairly expensive in compute because there's all the um, uh, encoding you have to do with video. Yeah. But it's not a significant part of our cost, video, but it is a significant part of the customer experience. Mm -hmm. and. So that's part of the customizing tools. You could just put a video on your home page. Right. We'll store the video and so on. Uh, and we're going to do our best to integrate to YouTube and Vimeo. I think with Vimeo, they, uh, they're, uh, the way they share is through an iframe, which we don't permit. But mm -hmm. we're coming up with a Vimeo app that, okay. that will help that because we, we love them too. What so. is, Chris, as, as the, the, the guy, one of the guys behind the scenes pulling strings for Smug Mug, what is your ideal customer in terms of, you know, uh, you know, this guy, my ideal avatar of a customer has a WordPress site and a Smug Mug site, or does he kill his WordPress site and live on Smug Mug? What, what do you, what uh, would you like to see? What we'd like to see and what they are today are probably two different things. Mm -hmm. um, so WordPress is, is a great site. And mm -hmm. I think that we're, as a company, we're most closely aligned with WordPress philosophically. Mm -hmm. With WordPress, it's all about telling your story, mostly through text, some support of photos, but right. they're really strong in the text, and right. we're really strong in photos. And we're about telling your story too, mostly through photos, and they're stronger in the text. And the best of both worlds is when you mesh those together. Right. Uh, so we're quite different, sorry about the noise in the background. We're quite different from, you know, when you think about WordPress, they're one of the few sites that really allows great deep customization. Yeah. with templates and things like that. And we do too for photo sharing, but you really can't think of many other mass market photo sharing sites that do that. You know, they're... The customization you, piece the of The customization. It. Right. You may get a few different templates to choose from. Mm -hmm. That's about it. Um, mostly you get the look that you get, like at Flickr. It's whatever look you get. It's, it's a nice look. Yeah. But if you want it to be your photography business or your family or your personal story you like to personalize, that's what we offer. WordPress does that too, but... They're good at text, we're good at photos. Okay. So the, so the ideal scenario right now is if you want to do text and photos, is to do them both together? Yeah, I think that's what but most you, people do. But if yeah. you lean heavily towards photos uh, yeah. on the photo, then it's smug yeah. right? Yeah. If, you're, if you're writing missives you know, every other day, then yeah. write it and use something like WordPress to do it. Right. 
And an awful lot of people combine the two because a lot of people store their photos at SmugMug and then they, you know, they link to them in their WordPress mm -hmm. blog. Um, yep. Client access, boom. In yeah. There, yep. And you see in a lot of our menus and things, you know, you know, a lot, a lot of people put galleries, blog, you know, and so yep. on. They yep. have both. So. Is uh, once this so by the time folks like I was saying before, once the time, the time people see this, the site will be live at smugmug.com. It better be. <laughs> it better be. Fingers crossed. Um, is that it, or is there is this the launch, and then there's a bunch of other cool stuff that's going to come out over the next few months? Right? Well, we think of it as launch and a bunch of other cool stuff. I think mm -hmm. the closest analogy I know of is one that I mostly lived through, which was OS nine and OS ten at Apple. Yeah. I used to work for Steve Jobs, yeah. and I was at Next, and we built Next App. Mm -hmm. We had no idea that it would become OS ten, yeah. but we wrote a new operating system. Basically, we took. Unix and then built a graphical user interface on it and all kinds of other features on it mm -hmm. and it was incompatible with everything that went before and we were roundly criticized for it but we felt that it had a better security model, multitasking, multiprocessor, mm -hmm. it could scale, multi-user, all kinds of things you could do with Unix that you couldn't do with OS 9. Right. Apple was investing billions in OS 9 but they were getting diminishing returns as they went. Uh, so Apple made the gutsiest decision I've ever seen a company made which is we're going to sell OS 9 up to the final day and then we're going to come out with OS X and tell people, well, it's not totally backwards compatible, um, but you're going to love it. And what's going to happen is it's basic now, but it lays the foundation for us to do great things in the future. Yeah. And in fact, that was true, and it drove their renaissance. They could never have done what they've done without OS X, which was yeah. built on Unix. And it's the same with us. We, we used that and said, you know what? Steve was right about that. Steve Jobs was right about that. If we build something that will last us for the next 10 years and do all these things our customers are asking for, we'll be a lot better off, even if we're going to take it in the chin for the next two years for not it's incrementally developing. But after we develop it, they'll see things come faster than they otherwise would. Right, yeah. At, at some point, a tech company has to say, okay, we've ridden this horse you know, long enough. As yeah. long enough, let's, yeah. let's, let's put it in a stable yeah. and get a new horse. Yeah. You know? so, that's what we did. So we got a new horse now. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. There, there, uh, one of the reasons it took a year longer than we expected is we wanted to migrate our customers because we have a big installed base. Mm -hmm. And the migration code, you know, you're, you have a computer background. The migration code is tough because, we, you know, we allow you to stay on your old site mm -hmm. uh, and have a preview mode where you can be customizing your new site. So that's a second state, but your visitors don't see it. And then a publish mode where you're on the new site. How do you keep those two in sync and everything? It's a very hard computer science So it's science three problem. states, right? Three states. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, how do, you, yeah. <laughs> how do you do that? That's a really tough one. And Amazon you know, must love you. <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah. <laughs> and as a matter of fact, they do. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, there are other companies uh, that have uh, just sprung it on you mm -hmm. um, uh, where, hey, today you got the new design. Yeah. We didn't do that. There are other companies who've said, well, I can't offer you a migration path. Go to this new system and, you know, start afresh. Right. We didn't do that either. Right. But you know, when you think of all the photos, videos, settings, stats, comments, sales reports, I mean, it, it, it goes a, on and on. And like, unlike other companies, like say a Flickr, a Flickr just says overnight, we're switching everything, yeah. you know, and you'll love it, yeah. you know, and they can push it out yeah. to everyone. People, though Flickr has a paid level of service, yeah. people aren't feeding their kids based on their Flickr yeah. sites, right. right? So if you smug mug and people are feeding their kids yeah. based on their smug mug site yeah. and you just say, yep, we're changing it on you. Yeah. You could probably, you'll have pitchforks and flames in front yeah. of the building. <laughs> yeah, and you know, in some ways we're a company uh, that is a little bit like Apple and a little bit like Adobe. We have a broader customer base than you would imagine that we do have. Mm -hmm. We thought it would be people with DSLRs and pro photographers and everything, and there are a lot of those and we have a pro level of service. But wow, we have a lot of people whose photos are important to them for whatever reason, or privacy is important to them, or they want to tell their story and have it look like them, be customized. We've got a zillion of those customers. And uh, you know, most companies specialize, many companies specialize in one or the other. Apple didn't do that. They have high-end customers. Canon didn't do it. Nikon didn't do it. Nikon's got the D800, which isn't for everyone, but they got cool pics and all that. Yep. Yep. And we're in the same camp as Canon and Nikon and, and Apple. So it means a lot of customers. And for some of them, these families that have customized to make it look like their family site for their family reunions and things like that, we just didn't feel, they're paying for it, we didn't feel we could just bring it on them overnight. Yeah, one, one, to close this off, one thing that, the first thing that I thought of when I heard about this a couple of weeks ago that this was coming up was they're not going away. 
right? Because yeah. or not being acquired. Because we've been yeah. seeing a lot of consolidation, <clears throat> yeah. and you've seen it over the years. I mean, I companies, Kodak, all these companies have just kind of yeah. fizzled and gone away for whatever reasons, whether it was patents or just whatever. You know, yeah. they've just gone away. Smug Mug's still here. Yeah. You know, so you guys are going to be here for. Yeah, I mean, look around. Do we look like a company that's? Yeah. We toured earlier and. Yeah, it's a, it's a busy beehive over here. <laughs> yeah, so, and, you know, one thing I think photo sharing is, paid photo sharing is particularly hazardous for most, for a lot of companies. Mm -hmm. Sort of like the PC industry was. There mm -hmm. aren't many companies that make money in the PC industry, and even Dell's having trouble now. Yeah. But Apple makes a lot. Uh, and it's, it's hazardous for a lot of non-intuitive reasons at first. One is storage. Mm -hmm. uh, as your customer base ages, they just add more and more and more. So yeah. they're paying the same subscription fee that they were paying eight years ago, but <laughs> the storage footprint is entirely different. Yeah. The feature depth that they require now, what you just saw compared to what we did with the blank cursor 10, 11 years ago, mm -hmm. we had two guys doing that 11 years ago. It's a big team now. In a, in a bedroom. In like, a bedroom, yeah. yeah. <laughs> with cats. Amazing. With cats you have to write that story. Yeah, you have to write. Yeah. There's, like, yeah. there's so many stories that you've told me that you have to write yeah. down and share yeah. with the world. It's really yeah. cool. So, And we've, we've always felt that, you know, we... We have to be financially very conservative mm -hmm. because we're dealing with people's livelihoods and yeah. their priceless legacy they cannot lose. That's and right. So we pay more for storage through Amazon than if we did it ourselves. And yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be up tomorrow yeah. when we go for it. Right? Well, it better be. Cool. All right. Chris, thank you. Yeah. Thanks a lot. It's a pleasure. <laughs> always a pleasure talking to this guy. I always <laughs> learn so much. I'm always humbled. So, uh, like I said, by the time you watch this video or listen to the audio to this video on This Week in Photo, the site will be live. Check it out. I'm going to go, I'm going to bang on it as soon as I can. I haven't even had a chance to play with it. Oh, we need to get you access, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Give me access. Hey, uh, Nick, let's do that. Let's get Nick, access. Nick, you hear that? Access. <laughs> Frederick Van, access. <laughs> All right, Chris. Thanks a lot. Okay, thanks. We'll push that button. Good.